subscribe to get wow videos and press the notification button so that you can never miss any video assalamu alaikum friends how are you fine yeah that's great so today i came up with the topic of pre-stressing beams or girder how to design pre-stressed beam and girders so without wasting any time let's move to the software so here i am opening say 2000 so here is this interface so first i am going to open a beam model to define a new first time and uh, changing the unit to keep it and selecting beam so let's for example i have i'm doing it as example purposes so let's for example i have a single beam with a, a beam with a span have only one span and its span length is about you can say is 30 feet right press ok so here is beam is defined so now let's um, define a cross section area for this beam so what we will do we will first go to the define and go to define materials and in define material i have 4000 psi and this steel bars so what i'm going to do i'm just first moving into 4000 psi of concrete and modifying some of its properties so let me just first change it i want to change it into first let's suppose i'm just changing it into 6000 psi of concrete and uh, here i want to change the elasticity modulus it's totally up to you you can change and you can choose whatever you want so i'm just moving it to let's suppose 4400 of ksi and uh, i'm just moving this concrete to 6000 psi or 6ksi so press ok you you can change any other thing over here according to your desire and according to your i must say according to your requirements so press ok look it has been changed into 6000 psi now here i need to define an, another material and this material should be turned on i need turned on our here and basically what is this turned on turned on is a bar which we use in this beam to pre-tension it right so what is its elastic modulosity i'm keeping it same 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 and same and let's just keep this value let let's its minimum yield stress is 216 and 250 but uh, we can change it when you will do so let's we can keep it 270 and then keeping it as 1.1 times of 270 right and press ok and ok hover here again the next thing is i need to define the material properties so first i'm going to frame section and here i'm adding a new property of concrete of rectangular and let me just take it as a depth take it as a 30 feet 30 inches sorry so it becomes 2.5 feet and width of 1.5 feet you can define any number according to your desire and just rename it into beam and similarly here in concrete reinforcement you need it to check as it beam so it's beam with the material of 6000 ksi press ok over here and uh, press ok now you need to go to define section properties and into the turn down sections here we need to define a section for the turn down add new turn down so it just picked at turn down one and uh, yeah i do need to apply this turn down as a load and you can apply it as elements as well and then mm, no other specific changes and press ok you can change it according to your requirements so press ok and ok so turn down one is defined now the next thing is we need to define the load combinations and here i need uh, first no, sorry first let me define load patterns 
so here I am defining as a dead load pattern the next thing I am defining is that a live load pattern so keeping it live and adding it and now the third is I am applying the pre-stressing pre-stress I am defining load stress and pre-stressing and keeping the type as other and adding it so press ok I have defined and now I need to define the load combinations in load combination I am defining new and let me just name it as wow right so here you need to define here you need to add all of these cases so first I am adding dead live and pre stress keep all these scale factor as one because in the case of pre stressing we normally know exactly know the we normally know the exact load like we use pre stressing in bridges and we know the exact load of the uh, structure over the exact load on the structure so nothing any changes so press ok over here and ok again over here now next thing is you need to assign you need to select this and go to assign and go to frame and go to frame section and you need to assign beam to it right and finally you need to insert tendon in this frame so for that click on this thing draw frame and from here to the instead of straight frame select tendon so as soon as you select the tendon here ten one is coming which you have already defined here so now what you need to do you need to click cover here and click cover here so as soon as you click on the both the location a window will pop up this window will pop up now you need to make some changes over here you have to go to this parabolic calculator and here you need to keep it as one and click on the quick start so as you click on the quick start you see this black tendon has been inserted and by default it's inserted at one one feet and you can change it change it to any units from here uh, let me change it into cap and fit so refresh it so what does it do it just defined a tendon which is 12 inches above from this and 12 inches below from this point and 12 inches above from this point so what we need to do we can define our own we can define here our own values like if you want to keep it on 8 inches so press 8 over here it will just move down and I want to keep it up to 3 inches let's suppose I want to keep this end corner 3 inches above from the main central axis so press 3 over here and press ok now if you just refresh your view so you can see if I just keep my pointer over here it will show me look in this corner coordinate corner 1 you you have to concentrate our here in this position when I keep this mouse over here so 0 and 8 this 8 showing that this is on 0 point it's moved up to the 8 position so that's fine so now the next thing is you need to click turn over here and here in tendon section you have to select tendon 1 and now in tendon loads I need to add the tendon load and in tendon load I want to add tendon load which is under the pre-stressing load pattern name so select pre-stress load pattern name and add the load so let's in my case I am keeping it as 200 kip of the force so I am applying 200 kip force to this tendon to pre-stress my beam so these are some coefficients now if you have some errors or if you have some uncertainties you can pick these coefficients from one of the guide which we have from ICI or STM but in our case we assume that our structure is completely fine so keep all these coefficient as zero right so we are just working it in under the ideal situation so no need to change anything so press ok again and all the other thing has been done so press ok again 
so look your tendon has been your tendon has been inserted in the vein so now what you have to do i need uh yeah i need to assign the load to this structure so select this don't select the tendon so select your b go to assign go to frame load and assign your load so under that load let's for i am applying 2.2 kips per foot pressing okay so 2.2 kip and on the same frame i am assigning some live load as well so you can assign this load according to your demand so let's suppose i am having 1.5 kip per foot of live so if i just check it under the loads column you can see dead load is assigned and live load is assigned so now as we are all done with our loading and tendon so we need to define that in how much section it should analyze our frame or it should analyze our beam so i am just selecting the beam and going to assign in frames and in output stations in output stations here it's by default is 9 so that let's keep it 9 and see under 9 section how does it perform pressing okay so look it's defined as 9 section has been defined in this uh, in this beam so so now what we need to do we need to analyze it so first analyzing uh, setting the analysis option and then running it our analysis is done so now if you see that it analyzes our frame into the nine parts 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 so it analyzes our frame in nine parts and you can see the demand is 279.72 so i just unlock the model now and i select this frame i select this frame and go to assign and go to frames and go to output station now if i just increase this from 9 to let's suppose 30 and see what happens now he is dividing my fan into 30 sections and now just i'm running it yeah now as you see the moment demand has been increased to 282.16 and location is also somewhat shifted from the previous one so previous one will be 279 and this is 282 so you can see that how the difference is coming in the values so output stations are much helpful in accurately analyzing the structure so now the final thing i am showing to you so this is the behavior of the beam while we have tendon installed in it so what if we just unlock the model now so now what if we just remove this tendon select the tendon and press the delete button so now if you just analyze it under the same conditions so you will see yeah now you see the moment demand has increased to 479 almost 480 kip per kip feet at the moment so you see while using the tendon while using the base stressing technique we can reduce the moment demand so that is the basic purpose of the tendon so in first case if when we analyze it it was 279 and then second case if we Uh, then we increase the number of frames it jumped up to the 282 and now if we just remove the tendon it just goes almost double 478 so you see by inserting the tendon our moment demand is going to decrease so that is the advantage of pre stressing almost got it yeah so down the comment section tell me that this is useful for you or not so let's conclude our lecture and uh, so right now it's time for you to respond to me in the form of subscribe likes and share so press that red button in the right corner in the right bottom corner so that you can receive my videos without any difficulty so see you in the next video thank you